I'm Jennifer Angel. This is the Scorpio. So for you, Scorpio, at the start of the week on the 8th, um, Saturn is coming out of its retrograde phase. It's been retrograde, I think, from about February now, so a few months. Uh, and it's going to come out. Saturn is in your sign for a, a, about a three-year period by the time it sort of comes and goes in its retrograde, a little over three years, I think it is. So we're um, about halfway through that now. So uh, right now, so it's coming out of the retrograde period. So Saturn, when it's retrograde, can, the energy can be a little bit sort of heavy. So that's going to come out um, and just lighten things up a little more. Like the Saturn is the planet of, of uh, business. It's also very cautious, but it's also the planet of stability. So things that happen under a planet influence and vibration can just be there for the long term okay so um, you you want to just think about that and think any sort of like little setbacks that happen along the way or delays are really just there to help you get organized and you know get your thoughts actions together before moving forward again okay now there is a very nice uh, aspect to do with your uh, business with Uranus in your sixth house and Venus in your um, let's have a look here in your in your tenth house so this is like excellent to do with business so we've got the sixth house all to do with work it's also an area of health you need to look after yourself and uh, Venus in your tenth house of career business and purpose so these two together it's like you can connect with someone over this period of time that's really going to help you search ahead with business so it's a very very positive week for you for work if you're looking for work then something out of the blue can can come across you know come across for you or come through for you you could just meet someone you know almost at a, a, a meeting or a chance meeting and all of a sudden you know it, it all starts to happen so expect the unexpected to happen this week Scorpio get ready for change and get ready to embrace something that could be quite different but very good for you now there's also quite a lot of activity happening in your solar ninth house uh, you, some of you could be traveling if you are traveling then uh, the ninth house is to do with foreign affairs and longer trips and traveling is also to do with knowledge a good time to you know learn a new skill take on a language perhaps uh, Mercury Mercury is still retrograde in this area of each house, so right through to the 21st. So when Mercury is retrograde, you want to make sure that you double check all the details. If you're traveling, make sure the plans haven't uh, changed. Back up your computer work. Don't assume anything. Don't you know? Take any chances, okay? Um, and there's also a new moon in this area as well. So it's something new can start that is very deep and dear to you on a heart level as well. So that's a nice vibration. With money, Mars still sitting in your solar sixth house. Uh, somebody else is handling your money. You want to make sure that you do a little bit of a big brother over the shoulder look to make sure that you know what's going on as well. Don't take any risks with money. Okay. All right. Have a great week, Scorpio. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.